Hello everyone. This video is in continuation to my previous video. We have where we have started up with the chapter flower uh, from class 9th ICSC as already told. It's a, it's it's now again a board class. So we have started with the uh, unit 2 first chapter the flower where i have in my previous video i have discussed about the different definitions very important definitions of the chapter here in this video we'll be starting up with the structure of a flower so i'll just briefly make a structure of flower and then simultaneously i'll be explaining you different parts and we'll do the uh, functions of different parts also now here we have a stalk and this stalk it starts to end up in a structure known as thalamus this thalamus has the flow, four floral whorls arranged over it. The first floral whorl are the green colored small sepals. The first whorl, the sepals. We have the second whorl which is the petals. I'll just... This is the second word containing the petals. I'll give you the other names also. First, I'll just make the diagram. Then in the center, we have, or you can say the four, third word would be the male part that is androsium. We'll make two here. And then we have the center or the last part that is the gynosium. Okay, these are the four main worlds of a flower or a bisexual flower. Starting up with the stalk, stalk is the part from where the flower is attached to the branch. Then we have the receptacle or the thalamus where the different four worlds are arranged over it. Starting up with the first world that is sepals when we call it when when we take a single sepal it's called as a sepal when the collection is called the collection is known as calyx the collection of sepals is known as calyx it is the outermost green world and its main function is to protect the flower in a bud state it covers the uh, you must have seen the buds they have a green colored you know structure present over them then that opens up and the that uh, part goes down those are the calyx or the sepals if we call them you know um, uh, separately so these are the calyx or sepals their function is now their function i just jotted down here also the function is protection of flower in bud state okay then we have certain conditions related to calyx the first one is polysepalous condition poly sepalous condition here it's a condition in which the sepals are free it's a very common situation where the sepals are free they are not attached to one another okay uh, this is a poly sepalous condition then we have the next condition which is known as gamosepalous Gamosepalus is a condition where the sepals are fused like this. You must have seen it in, you know, Genda Fool, uh, the chrysanthemum, where the sepals are fused. So this is a gamosepalus condition. And we have a, you know, a structure known as epicalyx also. Epi epicalyx sometimes in some flowers we have small flow uh, uh, structures here beneath the sepals they are known as epicalyx an additional world a fifth additional world is known as epicalyx which is below the sepals or the calyx then we have the next part known as petals petals as a singular and corolla as a collection corolla or petals are the beautiful brightly colored flowers the petals which we see they are known as 
corolla or uh, if we call them individually it's the petal here also we have two condition a polypetalous condition polypetalous and th uh, the second condition is we have gamopetalous polypetalous condition and a gamopetalous condition polypetalous condition where the petals are free and gamopetalous where they are fused okay this is the corolla and the main function of corolla is to attract the insects for cross pollination they are brightly colored and hence the insects they just get attracted to those plants and cross pollinate uh, we will do cross pollination in our next video where we will be discussing about cross pollination the third world is androsium now androsium is the male part of the flower and if we see the structure of andro i'll just draw androsium and gynosium here separately if you see the structure of the male part you will see that it has a thread like filament and a, no, a bilobed structure known as anther present over it. This whole structure is known as a stamen and a collection of stamens is known as androsium. Okay, so androsium is just like a wall around the gynosium. We have a filament and we have anthers present over it. If we see the structure of an anther, anther is a bilobed structure just like this. Uh, it, it has two lobes and you will see pollen sacs here which has these grains pollen grains present over it you can see a pollen sac here also so they have those pollen grains present in it and pollen grains are the structures which are carried by the insects or you can say they are the male parts of the flower which fall over the female part and lead to fertilization we have three conditions here in androsium than this mono adulfus condition 